The Rainco Visual Studio plugin allows you to develop COBOL or PL1 programs within the comfort of the Visual Studio development environment. Let's take a look at a few of the plugin's features. One useful feature of the Raincode Visual Studio plugin is that if you hover your mouse over a symbol, a tooltip appears showing the declaration of the symbol as well as its parentage on the second line. We can right click on a symbol and select the Qualify option to fully qualify it. Of course, this doesn't work for level 1 or for already qualified variables. Completion in the Raincode plugin can be triggered either manually by typing control space or automatically after certain keywords such as display. A list appears showing various possibilities and narrows down as you type. When we select an item, a tooltip appears showing a preview for the symbol. This mechanism also works for copybooks and for paragraphs. To help you keep your code tidy, the Raincode plugin comes with a feature called Extract to Copybook. Simply select a piece of code, right click, select Extract, and type a name for the new copybook. The code is replaced by a copy statement, and a new copybook is created which contains the previously selected code. We can right-click on a label and select Go to Definition to go to the paragraph. This also works with variables. We can also select Find All References to find all the occurrences of a symbol. With the Raincode Visual Studio plugin, we can set breakpoints in the margin of COBOL or PL1 code the same way we would in a C-sharp or Visual Basic program. Here we set a breakpoint on a display statement. When running the program, execution halts when the flow hits the breakpoint. In the call stack window, we can click to see the various call statements deeper in the stack and thus see where we're coming from. Pressing F10 or selecting the step over menu item, we advance the execution by one statement. We can also use F11 to step into a call. We can then use Shift F11 to return from a call and go back to where we were before. When debugging, we can hover the mouse over a symbol to preview its value in a tooltip. Or we can look in the Locals window to quickly see all the local variables. When we press Continue and the breakpoint is hit again, the values that have changed are highlighted in red. We can dynamically edit the value of variables. When we disable the breakpoint and resume execution, we can see that the value has indeed been changed.